Hi guys, Lee here, Lee's Gaming Corner, bringing you a Adventure Capitalists indie game review. So, if you like what you see so far, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, push the bell notifications so you never miss a video, and without further ado, we'll get into this video. So, before I get too far into this video, I do apologise for not being many um, indie game reviews on a Sunday. Um, as I said, do apologise for that. Got a bit carried away with trophy hunting. It's one of the things I actually do like doing on the PlayStation. As you've been, if you've been watching videos, you'd notice, notice quite a lot. So, enough of that. Let's get to what this video is about today. So, we are playing Event. Adventure Capitalist is a indie game I do believe and think about this game which made me play this game a bit more was the fact that it's actually free go into the PlayStation store push the free thing and you'll see it just a quick look let's say that free sec section free small for free free to play game <coughs> and then there it is it's just purchased so I can't buy again but it's free and to be honest for a quirky game like this you, you can't really moan you've <coughs> not really wasted any money exactly on buying this game so that's one of the main reasons I recommend getting it is the fact of it's free you never get much, nothing much for free these days. But hey, but when you get something free, grab it. But again, if it's not your kind of game, then obviously don't go get a game that you're not interested in. I didn't think I'd be interested in this, but when I watched the little trailer comes up with it, and it just sort of drew drew me to it. So. And I say it can be a bit, yeah, it looks a bit boring, kind of thing. Yeah, but I tell you, you set like top one, top there. You've got lemons. It's going on its own. I'm not clicking on that. I've got a manager for that. So if you were to have all the sections there, have the money to put manage all of them, yeah, and then exit the game, play something else, go away for a day, come back. They've made your money to be honest so you can't <coughs> it's another good thing because you, you come go back to it and you'll say oh you've made so and so much yeah. it's not oh you've made ten dollars and that's it it's you've been away for like three days you accumulated money in, in game currency <coughs> as I thought I'm actually been play, playing it lately and I'm actually at uh, six billion Six billion um, currency is what I'm on at the moment, and I've unlocked all of them. So that's what I'd say about the game. So now I'm going to go over the little bits that I think need a quick explaining. So until then, I'll be right back. So here we are at this point in time. Again, a little bit more. Now we're going to go over the unlocks we've got here. That's all we've unlocked so far. <coughs> 200 lemon, 125, and then all that. This is the upgrades you could do to make things go a little bit faster. Cash upgrades, angel upgrades, gold upgrades. But over time you get, <coughs> and here's your managers. These are the people that hire or run your business for you. What? even when you're not playing the game. So it's all basically untimed. Not timed, but you know, it times it. Angels, you can bonus per angel, 2%. I'm trying to click on it, but I can't because I haven't got any angel investments waiting to be. But other than that, here's your upgrades here. Again, 
I'm stuck on gold upgrades here. Just looking around, you've got Team Jet, uh, 3D Cinemas, and here you can go to the Moon or see Mars. And just going over little, just little sections here, what you could do one mega ticket, 20, you get 10. And events coming soon. Give us a look on back here, you see like your sections for milestones 25, 50, 100. But those trophies for getting that 3,666. So they're sort of great milestone to keep an eye on how many I've got. Everything like that. So other than that, it's not exactly a bad game. So I'm now going to talk about the trophy section of the game like I have been doing before. So stay tuned for that. Trophies. Well, as I say, there's about... 12 trophies in total minus the platinum as it is a free game and they probably didn't want to give a platinum away on a free game which is understandable um, they're not particularly hard it's all um, going through the game playing the game <laughs> I don't think there's going to be an end to this game I think once you've got the trophies for the game leave it at that point to be honest, there's no point in going on once you've got the trophies. Unless you, you've actually played this game and you should quite enjoy carrying on. It's entirely up to you. But from a trophy collector's standpoint, just play it till you've got the trophies. And then if you want to carry on, carry on. If you don't, then don't. So that's my section about the trophies collecting on this um, indie game review. So now my final verdict will be following suit. Now my final review thought on the game. Would I recommend it? For tr say for a trophy collecting person. Anyone who collects trophies. For 12 trophies. I wouldn't exactly moan. Well worth the money of free. And you can't beat that. <coughs> At all. Um, free. Am I glad I bought it? Much good collector. Kind of yes. I'm 50-50. Sort of like, is this what it is? One part of me is saying is, this is what it is. But it is. But then I can't really moan to the point of, uh, because it's free. What do you expect from it if I gave it free? And not a AAA game for it to be free. But so like this. And I guess you can get, you have got a little bit of, um, you can buy the gold. And all that. You've got a little bit of in game purchase, but it's not affecting the game if you buy it or not. It doesn't make you a better. Make it better, or you know, I mean, what's, what's what I'm trying to say? It doesn't affect gameplay, so you can get the trophies well um, by in game currency. So, not necess not necessarily, you're just wasting money, really, to be honest. To be honest, so I think that's all I can really cover on this um, indie game review. I do hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below. If you actually one of the games you want to buy, you'd actually um, appreciate clicking on. Um, don't forget to hit the bell, uh, subscribe button to push the bell notification so you never miss a video. And without further ado, I'm going to end it here on this um, episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next um, video. Bye!